everyone, welcome back. So you might remember I did a big review on the, these uh, toys. What well, um, back though? That got over six six thousand views. I was so shocked of uh, at though. And I just want to say thank you very much for seeing that video. It was such a huge success reviewing these guys, and I had so much fun though. And I thank you for it by uh, doing another Power Ranger Dino Fear review. And uh, not a lot of views, actually. So, what are we going to do with some more? Well, I was thinking we might review this. That's right. I got the Terra Freeze Zord. This thing comes in like in uh, three forms. Here's the back of it, though. As you see, you can have... There's the uh, bound mode, the uh, terraform, and like some kind of egg or a Dawson right here. I seen some of the, his videos. This com this is some kind of like a penguin. I think it's some kind of like an egg. I don't really know, but anyway, I'm excited to do this because the first thing when I saw the uh, toy in the Japanese version, I was like, I want that. I want it so badly. Because honestly, the design it's amazing, and I love the blue color scheme of it though. And I am so excited to unbox this bad boy and uh, do some a little bit of combining. Like I said, they're like Legos. You can just like bring them up and like uh, combine many ways on uh, how you do this. Let's check in the back of it for uh, some other things. We also can see there's the T-Rex Champion Zor, the Moza Razor. Which I do not have. Which I already have the T-Rex Champion Zor. And the uh, Mo... But I don't really have the Moza Razor. But you can see here. You can get the uh, Terra Primal Zor. The T-Rex Ter Terra Zor. Or Terra Rex Zor. Sorry about that. It was kind of hard to pronounce. And some kind of this uh, weird thing. I don't know what it is. Some sort of like a... Uh, I don't know what that is. It's, it's not really that cool though. And this also has this uh, thing where uh, you activate it with this morpher thing, which I do not have for those that don't, that don't know, but don't worry. I'll do a review with this soon though. Just need to find out the right time though. But anyway, I'm excited to review this. So without a wait, I'll have to clear out the table and get this bad boy unboxed. Now, before we want to get into the Zord, let's take a look at the key first. I really like how uh, the key has some sort of like a uh, transparent blue, blue uh, texture. It's sort of like ice though. Well, the uh, theme of the uh, Terra Freeze is ice. <laughs> yeah though, as you can see there, you can see my fingers and it really nice details with the uh, transparent plastic though. A really cool design though. Unlike the uh, this kind of key though, this one doesn't really have a transparent thing, but oh well. This is the uh, theme for the Morpher. <laughs> yep, but in the uh, head, yeah, it doesn't show up enough transparent blue enough though. It's sort of solid that you can't really see through it though. But they did a good job with the uh, paint job off of it, making it look show accurate though. And really nice design on the uh, pterodactyl head with a little spike in there. <laughs> now let's check out the back. Now, nothing too normal except for the uh, sword over there. But just like in the uh, other keys, these things come apart. So you can see the uh, night area of the uh, key though. I'll give you a close look of really what it really looks like. Ew, why am I talking like that? And besides the... Uh, Rangers in the uh, little keyhole little areas. There is the uh, pterodactyl egg like penguin there instead of the uh, ranger though. It's pretty interesting though how uh, each of the uh, key has the uh, rangers in there. Except this one has the uh, little pterodactyl thing in there. <laughs> yep. I'm going to set this aside because we're going to use this on my morpher and the uh, blade. All right then, let's start off with the morpher. Let's just go like that. Let's click it.
There we go. Sorry about that. My finger was kind of in the way. But, wow. Really nice design. All right, though. Even though uh, it's still the same thing. Oh, well. Let's take this off. Now, the sword doesn't really have the uh, special thing with the key, but... Let's just put it on, see what happens. I forget it goes like this. See, nothing happens. It only works in the Japanese version. Ugh. Now, there is one more thing. It's the uh, Dino Supercharge Morpher or Dino Fury Super Morpher. However, I do not have the yeah, Super Morpher. Maybe I'll do it in another video or something, but... Don't worry, that one will come soon. All right, now let's in, let's get into it. All right, now let's get into the uh, Zord. We're gonna start out with this form, some sort of like a uh, egg like like Zord though. Some say it was a penguin. I'm not really sure if it really looks like a penguin to me though. It sort of looks like an egg with feet, or some that you may call it. But I think I see some uh, penguin. Biceps because of the uh, head and the uh, the beak sort of acting like a penguin thing. What do you call all in the show? Is it a egg or a penguin? Leave your uh, comments down below. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen Power Rangers Dino Fear in a while. That's why I'm sort of like a noob. <laughs> but anyway, though, gotta close this up because uh, there's these uh, little parts right there that help it keep together, though. And they uh, easily can come off though. So I gotta be careful while I'm spinning this around. Really nice details. And here's the back of it though. It shows off this uh, little shield though. Which I noticed something. This is missing the, the uh, paint job of it though. Because in the box art, this part over there was silver. I guess they uh, might... And did it in the box art with the uh, paint job rather than the uh, toy itself though. But anyway though, a really nice design with the uh, shield though. I really love it at first. And really great design for this toy though. But in the uh, Japanese version, in the uh, the egg, it kind of came out a little bit differently though. It's just this solid piece thing without this part. Alright. Now, let's change it into a Zord form, the Terra Free Zord. So first, you gotta carefully take off the arms over there. And like I said, there is like these uh, little parts right there that can uh, easily come off though. And you can just put it back in, it's just gotta wait for a click. Uh, anyway though, really nice design with the uh, transpute and plastic on the uh, wings. Well, part of the wings, anyway. Let's get this open. Open up his wings. Now, there's a little uh, clip over there, though, that you got to put in to click. Ugh, like that. Let's do the same thing with here. There we go. Next, you got to rotate this part. Then you got to take off the shield. Well, you got to keep it on at first. We'll take it off later. Next, you gotta rotate this. And then, you uh, flip off the uh, hood thing and it shows off the pterodactyl face. And uh, there's these little plugs right there that you can put the arms in. You just gotta carefully uh, slide them in. Like this. I'll show you again. Here's these little holes that you gotta put in. And there's the uh, little plug right there, and you can just slide in. I think in the Japanese version, there's like these uh, pegs back right there, sort of like these, that you can just add in though. But, ugh, there we go. And there you have it, the Terra Free Zord. And here it is though. Really amazing design of it though. When I first saw, uh, this one I was like I want this so bad when I watched the Japanese version because it is such a beautiful B 
beautiful design for this. I really wish I could uh, display it as, as this because essentially as a collector, I love to like uh, give it ideas to like how I want to display things or not though. But it has another purpose. It has a bow form, which we'll get into that soon though. But anyway though, I really like how the uh, design I mean, it goes on her beak though. It's very cool. Let me uh, translation. Let me blue plastic. And the uh, mouth can open. You just gotta. You, there's this little plug, plug right there that you have to use your fingernail for if you want to open your mouth though. Just gotta do that. <laughs> yep. The horn can move for a transformation thing though. The uh, arm. Arms are sort of like the uh, battling gauntlet or uh, some kind of claws or, or something. I don't know what they're really for, but I think they're for like guns. Like I said, I haven't seen Dino Fear in a long time. <laughs> and uh, check out the wing. Check out the wings though. Really nice design with the uh, translation plastic. The blue of it though, really cool though. And the uh, really nice de details for uh, the wing. Wings the. Uh, Upper part of it with some awesome gold little paint job designs. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, this thing fell off though. That came, that's actually a purpose for one thing. I'll get into that later. So, uh, yeah. Here's everything you have to see of it though. No, the uh, feet, it's sort of like the uh, pterodactyl little feet though. Or I don't really know what it is for it though, but. Oh well though. The uh, body of the uh, head though. though, Really nice paint job design though. And really nice paint job design on the head though. Including the eyes though. Really good though. Man, I really wish I could keep it like this though. But it is such a beautiful design. I lo love it so much though. But anyway though, it's time for battle mode. So first you gotta take off the shield. And for the uh, extra step, you gotta put this back in, and we'll put it inside. Next, you gotta take off the arms. Next, you gotta rotate this. There we go. Rotate this part again to uh, make it back into its original form. Fold out the legs, and this is kind of the extra step. You just Bend this like this to make it uh, straight. Yeah, in the Japanese version, it didn't really have that though. It just like folded up, not done full about. But I guess they want to make it look uh, show accurate though, so uh, they kind of did like that though. So anyway, let's do it again. And uh, it already folded off. Let's stand it up though. There we go. Let's move out the camera though. Next, you gotta flip out the horn. Then you put in the arms. I like to uh, put out the uh, gold part of it though. And then put it out like this again. All right. Next, take your uh, shield-like claw and then uh, plug it into the uh, this part of it though. Last but not least, you put in the key and put it right there. Look, there. And there you have it, the Terra Free Zord Battle Mode. It's a really nice design of it though. Really, uh, really cool though. <laughs> yeah, the uh, arm design of it though, really like the uh, paint job they did. It. Yeah. The uh, arms can move though. Just like that though, obviously though. It can go 360 though, but the wings are kind of like blocking it though. The forearm can only go up front though, but not backwards. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's kind of sucks though. I'm not sure if the, uh, this leg can, but, oh, uh, okay. I didn't know that. Apparently the, uh, this part of the leg can move though. Just gotta do it very carefully though. Maybe if you want to do some kind of pose though. And like I said, the uh, this leg can move though. It's just 
in a ratchet clank thinking sound though. The foot can uh, rotate though because of the uh, ball socket joint. And for a transformation though, the uh, this leg goes sideways though to like uh, give it some room though. And uh, for the shield, I thought it was a shield but it also has some few symptoms with the claw. And I can see that here's the uh, the trying like claw thing, sort of like Wolverine though. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right then. Really nice though, and I don't really, and what's confusing me the most is you gotta flip out the uh, pterodactyl horn thing like this though for the uh, transformation though. I don't really understand why though. Maybe if you want to uh, see the head better. Because if you do it like this though, it covers out his mouth. But I guess you have to do it like this though. Huh. Really nice. I really like this uh, Terra Freezor. Alright. I'll have to get some few stuff though. And I'll be right back. Alright. Oops. <laughs> the horn's kind of backwards. There we go. Alright. Now I brought out the T-Rex Champion Zord. Because this next part, we're going to form the T-Rex Freezord. So here's how we're going to do it though. First you got to take off the drill parts. Then you got to take off the cannons. There we go. And you take off the T-Rex head. And then you take off this body. Ugh, there we go. We'll uh, put this aside. Next we'll take the Terra Freeze. We'll take off the head. We'll take off this part wings up the wings the arm fell down <laughs> next you gotta take off the uh, shield then you gotta put the arm back Ugh. up the uh, wing fell down that's okay like I said there's a little plug in there that you can actually uh, plug in you just got there you go it snaps in next you gotta put the uh, T-Rex Rex uh, legs with the uh, terra freeze up the arm fell and the uh, camera almost fell. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Just gotta put the arm back in. Just remember my step. There's a little hole in there that you gotta plug in. Next, you take your shield and put it into the terra freeze body. Ugh. Hold on, the tail fell off. It's hard to see with the uh, using your eyes as a camera. Or whatever I just said. <laughs> Next, you gotta plug in the T Rex head. Just gotta uh, move it up. It gets a little bit heavier at the front, so that's why you gotta move it up forward so you can see it. There we go. Next, you gotta put in the drills. Ugh. Ugh. Then you put the uh, cannons in the shins of the uh, T Rex and. Ugh. Ugh. There we are. Here is the T Rex. Free Zord. Really cool design of it though. There's nothing too different though. It's just sort of like the uh, Terra Freeze but with the T-Rex body and head. But one thing that's cool though, the uh, T-Rex is Champion Zord's head though with the uh, cloth thing forms up sort of like this uh, Emperor Dinosaur like thing that can fly though. And like I said, this part's missing some uh, paint job details of it though. It would be really cool if they uh, showed out the part uh, of it, though, to make it really look like it, though. But anyway, though, like I said, there's nothing too different about uh, it. It's just the uh, different combination of the uh, Terra Fruit Resort with the uh, T-Rex Champion. Now, we're going to do one more ch combination. That's the uh, T-Rex Smash Zord. There's Megazord, but however, though, we do not have the Pekka the, uh, Smash or Pekki Puncher or Zord, whatever you might want to call it, though, because it didn't got an American release, though, 
but I'm hoping it would. So we're going to be using, hold on, I'll be right back. Since we don't have the Packy Patcher, we'll do the Tiger Claw Zord in its place. All right. So uh, the transformation is sort of like the same thing, but with the T-Rex uh, champion parts, you just gotta move out the legs though. But however though, this is different though. You gotta take this part off though, because I tried rotating it with the uh, this, it did not work so well. So uh, I'm going to have to uh, follow the steps and just uh, take it out manually. Gotta stretch out the legs and stand it up though. Yeah. There we go. Next, we put in these uh, drill bits here because that's the uh, form for the uh, Terra Smash or Terra Freeze. Man, like I said, it's been a while. Then we put the uh, Terra up oh, the arm just fell off. Ugh, there we go. Next, we gotta put in the arms again. There we go. <clears throat> Next, we'll take this off though, because I'll show you what it's used for. But let's put in the T Rex head with the uh, eye shield and the chest. Then uh, kind of move out like this. <laughs> Ew. There we go. Let's move it up. <clears throat> now, there is no place for the T-Rex channel because it doesn't have a plug in the back. Yeah, it doesn't have it. Now, before we want to get into the uh, head first, let's do the same thing like we always do with the tiger. Just got to take off the head, take off the body, take off the uh, shield parts or fur parts <laughs> and uh, take out the uh, tail <clears throat> next we're going to be doing is I'm going to put the uh, this shield right there then I'm going to put it right there maybe I'll do it like this hold on let me show you Now, just like the T-Rex Champion, it had like a hole in there though. And the uh, Terra Freeze needs has that too though. So let's put in the uh, Tiger Claw, the uh, butt part of it right there. Then put the uh, head part right there. Ugh. There we go. Next, take your Tiger's Lance and put the head right there. Ugh. Then, you put it in where the uh, hole for the sword is. Uh-oh. Hold on, I'll be... Give me a minute, though. I forgot something. Next, you got to put the uh, T-Rex head right here. And there you have it, though. Since it's not really a Terra Free, these are Terra Smash, I'm going to call it the Terra Claw Zord. It's pretty interesting, right, though? <laughs> anyway, though, what a really uh, cool idea I have. Like I said, they're free to build. They're like Lego. Oh, as you can... Uh, Detach them. You can uh, build them whatever you want though. It's just over 100 combinations on what you want to do with it though. <laughs> yep. Now, if you're wondering, what's this for? This is actually used for the Primal well, Ultra Zord. The Primal Ultra Zord is a combination of the T-Rex Champion, Moza Razor, which I do not have. And the Terra Free Zord, and this part can actually 
go over there. It fits in like a glove though. However, it doesn't really work with some of the other keys. I tried them and it did not work though. <laughs> yeah, but anyway though, really cool design for the idea though. I'm proud of it though. Anyway, and that's it for uh, today's review though. I had so much fun reviewing this because I was really, really excited for uh, getting the Terra Free Nizor because when I saw the Japanese, the, uh, the uh, Japanese version, I was like, I want to get it so badly though that I really want to add to the my uh, collection, the uh, Power Ranger her collection. <laughs> so yeah though, I finally got the uh, first Visords and the uh, Terra Free Zord. And I am really excited to ha have it in my house though. I am so happy that I finally got it after a few years of waiting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, go ahead and check out the uh, the review when I did the Tiger Clawzor, the Inklo Hammer, the Stego Spike, the Tricera Blade, and the T-Rex Champion Zord. Plus uh, this little doohingus here. You can uh, check out the uh, link down below in the description if you really want to see that awesome video. So if you want to see more, or go on ahead and check it out on BrickDragonHero.com. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, it's me, BDH, but I'm also known as the Brick Dragon Hero. That video was great, huh, Applex? You said it, BBJ. And if you want to see more of the Brick Dragon Hero videos, all you gotta do is subscribe. Follow Brick Dragon Hero on Instagram. Like for this video. Share this with your friends. And comment down below what you think of that video. And don't forget to check out the last video. So thanks for watching and have a brick day. Whoosh.